I got started in the gym because I was sick and tired of being small, skinny and lacking confidence. So I had to build muscle and strength very quickly. For reference, I was 120 pounds, which is like eight stone for the British people out there in the British metrics. And I was sick of who I was. I had to make changes. Today I'm going to be covering 10 ways that you can add as much muscle and strength as quickly as humanly possible. First things first, if you want to build muscle and strength as quickly as possible, you need what's called a positive energy balance. This simply means that you need to be consuming more calories than you're burning. And yes, that is going to come with a little bit of fat gain, but you can minimize it if you do things effectively. Now I'm going to be covering 10 ways that you can also mitigate and cut out essentially four to five years of spinning your wheels just like I did. So step number one when it comes to building as much muscle and strength as you possibly can is you must train fucking hard. Your training should not be easy. Anyone who tells you anything differently if you want to get a good result is completely and utterly lying. You must be pushing close to failure in the vast majority of your sets, reps and exercises that you perform. This doesn't mean absolute failure where you're dropping the bar in a squat or you're getting caught under the bench press you're going to kill yourself that's just lack of common sense when it comes to your training you should be leaving max one to three reps in the tank when it comes to every exercise i'm talking about the big compounds as well like the squats like the bench when it comes to the isolations what are you leaving in the tank why are you not pushing to complete failure as long as you can recover which again that may be more challenging early on then you should be pushing in my opinion to max failure on those small sets what's the worst that can happen if you drop a bicep curl not much <laughs> Step number two is eating every three to four hours. This is not an absolute must if you want to make progress. We're talking about the fastest way to build muscle and strength. Each time you consume protein, something called muscle protein synthesis happens. This is essentially the synthesizing of new muscle tissue. Now, this can happen with 20 to 40 grams of protein, and it can be spiked every three to four hours. So, if you spike it more often with 20 to 40 grams of protein, rather than letting it go six to eight hours in between meals, then you give yourself a better chance of building strength and muscle more quick. There you go, boys. See how Papa takes care of you? Mm. I would advise eating three to four hours. Typically what I suggest is breakfast, lunch and dinner with a mid-morning snack, an afternoon snack and an evening snack before bed. Step number three is consuming protein at every single meal, piggybacking off kind of what I said in the last one. Now, if you want to build muscle mass, you have to consume an adequate amount of protein. The recommended daily allowance is not going to be enough. If you want to build muscle and strength as fast and as quickly as possible, then one gram per pound of protein Bare body weight is, is pretty good to go. So if you're 200 pounds, then 200 grams of protein. And again, try and get a source at every single meal. Pork, beef, chicken, fish, eggs, protein, cottage cheese, there are thousands out there. Rotate them, get some variety in your diet. There are different amino acid profiles and things like that that will also benefit from doing so. So get as much sources as you actually enjoy and build a plan that is sustainable, enjoyable, and allows you to get protein on every single meal. Consume proteins, consume... 90% of the time I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Step number four is consuming plenty of fruits and vegetables. Do not disregard them just because you're trying to get a decent amount of calories in. They have micronutrients, they have good quality fiber. These will all help with digestion, overall health, and your performance. And if your performance starts to suffer, you start to, to be lacking energy, you start to, to not be digesting food correctly, then ultimately your workouts are going to suffer as well. And it's your workouts that are going to allow you to change your body composition progress and improve and build muscle and strength as quickly as possible. Step number five or tip number five, do not fear your fucking carbs. If your goal is to build muscle and strength, carbs are going to be your friend. They are muscle sparing, they will improve performance and they will help your energy levels and build your strength and muscle mass quickly as well. Getting your carbs in is a fundamental part of a muscle building diet. How much? This is going to really depend. It can be anything from one gram per pound to five to ten times. It really depends where you're at. 
I would recommend starting with roughly the same amount of calories from protein and carbohydrates and then adjusting from there. As you gain strength, as you gain muscle, as you change in body composition, that number is probably going to have to go up over time. But again, it should be gradual and done slowly over time. Tip number six is getting enough water in. Again, somewhere around a gallon per day is probably going to be a good estimate. But if you're strength training, if you're exercising, if you're exerting, then you're going to lose a lot of fluids. And even a 2% decrease in hydration has been shown to reduce your athletic performance. So making sure again that you're not letting the simple things slip through the net. So fucking easy to stay hydrated. Keep one of these next to you at all times. This is a one liter bottle. This is, you can hear the water in it. This is within arm's length, of me, arm's length of me most of the day. Reason being I get anywhere from four to six liters per day. I do not allow myself to become dehydrated. For most of the part, I'm a human being. But even a 2% decrease will cause performance detriments. So again, make sure you're getting your water in. I would suggest doing some sort of target system if you struggle. For example, one liter before 7.30, the next one before 10, then one before 1 p.m. Before you know it, you've consumed three or four liters and it's job done. Eat high quality, whole healthy foods the vast majority of the time. 80 to 90 percent, that's number seven here. Again, this is not an absolute necessity. There's nothing wrong with including some McDonald's, some KFC, some pizza, whatever it is from time to time in your diet. But eating high quality nutritious food is going to help you feel and perform better as a human being. Again, we've already explained the benefits of that. Make sure you're getting around 80 plus percent of your food from whole natural healthy sources and you will feel and perform at your best. Number eight is one of the most underlooked and undervalued parts of gaining muscle and it is sleep. Yes, it's boring. Yes, you've heard it a million times. You have to sleep more. Sleeping five hours versus eight hours has some enormous downstream benefits in terms of testosterone, your energy, your cortisol levels, your stress responses, your hunger hormones. There are so many things, performance detriments. There are so many poor things that happen downstream when it you sleep five hours versus eight hours. Focus on getting at least seven hours of high quality sleep per night. Again, setting up your environment successfully is key. I've done previous videos on this as well on the channel. Just type sleep and you'll find some on the channel. Nine is do not underestimate cardiovascular health. Most people, when they try to build as much muscle and strength as they possibly can, decide that they want to become as inactive as they can. Again, this is not going to allow you to perform at your best. Cardiovascular health transfers right into your weight training sessions. If you're more fit cardiovascularly, then you have more ability to push longer and harder in those sessions. I still recommend doing some form of cardio, staying active, getting your steps and doing all of these things in a yearly, year-round basis, not just when you're trying to lose fat, is that will again allow you to be the healthiest, best performing human being possible, which is going to play into you building as much strength and muscle mass as humanly possible. The 10th and final point is supplementation. Again, you can go crazy here. There are a million different things you can do. There are a few base supplements that I would recommend. Whey protein, easy, cheap, convenient source of protein, magnesium to help you sleep, omega-3 high quality fish oils, again, loads of benefits, a vitamin D3 supplement, most of us in the Western society are deficient in this. Also, on top of that, creatine, one of the most studied, if not, I believe, the most researched supplement to face of the planet with a whole host of benefits. Theanine is another good one for sleep. And then maybe a base for ultimate, multivitamin, if I can say that word correctly. That's about it. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, off to the side is going to be the next video that you should watch. It's going to be the fastest way to boost testosterone. This is really going to give you a solid profile and how to boost your testosterone, which is going to help you build muscle, build strength, and lose body fat. So help improve your overall composition and increase your sex drive as well. What you got to lose? Go and check out the video.